you know who is to blame for this woeful economy of the United States of America? I'll tell you, perhaps, at the top of the list, who is to blame? It is the alphabet soup, the bureaucracies, the DEA, the EPA, and there are the boatload of three letter words of the federal government, the bureaucracies. They can make laws that have the force of law. And, and they can, these laws become laws without the president's signature, without being debated in Congress. Our forefathers would have consent, considered this an abomination. On a side note, I think what it is, is laziness on the part of our lawmakers. Congressmen, senators, put show, put the responsibility of making and investigating the laws on somebody else, so they can have more time to go on their vacation junkets, sit on their ass, getting paid their gargantuan salaries while doing as little work as possible. The EPA can fine and jail people for creating a business if they so much is build upon a pool of a puddle of wetlands. The EPA can shut down a business if it thinks it's putting too much smoke in the air. When what ought to be happening is if the, the these bureaucracies are making it so I had rather risk going to prison for being a drug dealer and making money that way than I had to start a business from scratch and have to deal with the red tape and regulations a federal, local, and state governments. And because of these, this alphabet stoop, people are not wi wi willing to take risks to start businesses. And when people don't take risks, when businesses, when we don't have enough businesses, we lose jobs. We lose tax revenue. We get more people on welfare. We get more people on unemployment. We get more fam more crimes because fathers have to go out and sell drugs or commit armed robberies to feed their families. It all goes back to these bureaucracies because the red tape and the regulations have taken away the opportunity in this land of opportunity. No, America does not owe any one of us success, but it does owe us the right to either to try. We had the right to try and to succeed or to fail, unfettered by this, these regulatory, these abominable regulations. Now I do believe in reasonable regulation, with public safety as is at stake. Federal Aviation Administration, the FAA, for obvious reasons, health inspections, 
regulations that must be met for meat packaging plants because unchecked when human greed from the human heart steps in executives might start ordering shortcuts in the name of getting more profits even if it means tainted meat gets sold on the market and people get sick I think if on a local level if lawmakers think there's a problem with too much soot in the air a local or a state or a federal level the lawmakers themselves should have to get together and debate and do the job and, and work for their money and come with the solution yes ask advice at the at the professional the professionals but they should have to come up with a law that the president or the CEO whether it's the president or the governor should have to either sign or veto and if, and they should go that route this fourth branch of government the bureaucracy is an abomination and they are one of the main causes of the demise of America's greatness. Pooh, do the, doing the second part of that, that video has got my eyesight. The strange visual disturbance and a funny feeling right on top of my head and a feeling I don't know how to describe it. Like, I'm getting closer to wanting to pass out. Sinusitis? Stroke residue? God damn, I need that stem cells. Panhandled $50 a day. $15 a day. I'm saving it for my stem cells. Thanks to the that doctor on healthcare magic, who gave gave me this number. I wanted to hear this. And I hope this is hope not. Hi, this message is for Christopher. Christopher, this is Jenny. I'm calling from Carolina Stem Cell Treatment Center. I received your online form saying that you're interested in our stem cell research and just giving you a call to see if I can help answer any questions that you may have. Uh, feel free to give me a call back. You can reach me at my direct line, which is area code 919-926-3011. Again, that's 919-926-3011. I look forward to speaking with you. Bye.